I'm not going to think about her. I'm not going to think about her. I'm not going to think about her anymore. I'm not going to think about the way she looked. I'm not going to think about the sound of her voice. I'm not going to think about the way her hair smelled. I'm not going to think about how she once had a dog named Romeo. I'm not going to think about how she never cleaned her car. I'm not going to think about how she was never able to hang on to both earrings from a pair for more than a week. I'm not going to think about how she always untucked all the sheets after I made the bed so they wouldn't squash her feet. I'm not going to think about how she had these funny burn marks on all of her good clothes because she always set the iron too hot. I'm not going to think about how she got drunk and cooked a frozen pizza with the cellophane still on it because the box didn't specifically say to remove it. I'm not going to think about how she once left a bunch of open candies in her purse for a week and I spent an afternoon killing ants in her apartment. I'm not going to think about how she bought this cheap button sun thing off the TV. I'm not going to think about how she was really pretty good at cooking bacon. I'm not going to think about how she really hated the buzzer on my alarm clock. I'm not going to think about how one of her eyes was slightly bigger than the other. I'm not going to think about how we had a running joke in Reno that all of the slot machines were broken because they weren't giving us any money. I'm not going to think about how she was so tiny and delicate that holding her was like holding a little bird. I'm not going to think about the time I came home one day and opened the fridge and realized she had bought me groceries. I'm not going to think about the dark, smooth skin of her back. I'm not going to think about what she looked like when I put this little flower in her hair. I'm not going to think about how she got drunk and cried during the scene where Chewbacca puts C-3PO back together and the Empire Strikes Back. I'm not going to think about how she always held my hand in public. I'm not going to think about how we made a deal that I'd buy her Shakespeare in Love for her birthday only if she promised I'd never have to watch it, but then she made me watch it a few times anyway. I'm not going to think about how it sometimes felt like we were the only two people on Earth. I'm not going to think about how for a long time it really seemed like it was going to work out. I'm not going to think about how I found a box in my doorstep full of everything I had ever given her. I'm not going to think about whatever she may be doing right now. I'm not going to think about how she always used to call me to change light bulbs or fix door hinges in her apartment, but now she doesn't call anymore and so she must have found somebody else to do it.